What is up folks, how's it going? This is Waj from MW Technology, and today we're going to be taking a look at the new PS5 Slim. Now, Sony just released this late 2023, and uh, compared to the original fat PS5 that launched in 2020, it's about 30% smaller in total volume. Not a massive difference, but you have the same internal specifications as that original PS5. A nice bonus this time around is that there's plenty of supply of the PS5 so far great for the holiday season if you're looking to get a new console for yourself and it typically comes bundled in with spider-man 2 or modern warfare 3 a pretty good deal nonetheless but a big issue with either the slim or the original ps5 is that the quote-unquote one terabyte internal storage is definitely not enough especially consider that in reality you get less than 800 gigabytes available and most modern games are so storage intensive that you're only going to have the ability to download a handful of games on the stock system so you're definitely going to need to upgrade the storage capabilities luckily it's super easy to do so on both the standard and slim ps5 with the fat ps5 you basically open up a side panel and then you have access to the m.2 slot on the slim version it's even easier since we have a special compartment uh, and panel dedicated to the m.2 drive which is just located on the bottom side of the console right next to the optical drive you basically pop open this plastic cover piece either uh, applying pressure on the left or right side and it will simply expose that m.2 slot which is covered right now and you remove it with any phillips head screwdriver now the question is which m.2 ssd drive do you pick now these days the pci express 4.0 is the only standard of drive that's supported by the ps5 and you have a ton of options at affordable pricing since the reduction of the newer standard pci express 5 we had the opportunity to work with kingston and they supplied us with this fury renegade four terabyte m.2 drive that has sequential read performance up to 7.3 gigabytes a second much faster than the stock ssd built into the ps5 now the install job literally takes about one or two minutes you basically take off the cover of the slot using a phillips head screwdriver that fits the screw and with that same screwdriver you basically take out uh, the stud and the screw that holds on uh, to the bracket that braces down your m.2 drive take that off insert your m.2 drive into the slot make sure it goes in all the way and then reapply the post with the uh, screw that we just took out to secure your m.2 drive to your ps5 once that's done put back the cover, put back the uh, plastic panel that covers everything up, and you're ready to rock and roll. Simply power on your PS5, and as soon as you log into your system, you're basically going to get a prompt to format the drive, and you're also going to get a rough speed estimate of what the drive's capable of. You're typically not going to see 7.3 gigabytes a second, which is uh, really only capable in most PC platforms where the motherboard can actually supply the appropriate appropriate power for those speeds uh, but still you're still going to get faster speeds than the stock internal ssd drive on the ps5 now when it comes to the real world speed differences between the two drives from a gaming perspective you're not going to really see a difference when actually playing a game that is mostly dependent upon your internet connection more than anything else especially if you're streaming games but when it comes to actually transferring games back and forth between the stock drive and the expanded ssg drive or even transferring a games just generally from one drive to another or from an external drive there's a clear difference and to do so we're going to run two tests one test is going to be using an external ssd drive this is a fairly fast one from kingston it's called the xs2000 it's usb 3.2 sequential read speeds of up to two gigabytes a second one of the fastest external storage solutions you can get out there we have gran turismo sport loaded onto this external drive it's about 100 gigabytes for the entire game we're going to transfer it over to the stock console and then do the exact same task on the expanded m.2 drive and simply see how long it takes in each circumstance 
Now, firstly, the time it took uh, to transfer that game onto the stock SSD drive on the PS5 was about 9 minutes and 18 seconds versus on the, our expanded Renegade Fury drive. It only took less than half that time, 4 minutes and 3 seconds. Now, to transfer games back and forth, most importantly, transferring games from the uh, stock drive to the M.2 drive is also a lot faster. We took two games with a combined data amount of about 136 gigabytes and it only took about 46 seconds to transfer all that data over from the stock drive to the M.2 drive and in the reverse order where we're transferring that exact same data back onto the stock drive it took about 6 minutes and 16 seconds. Now as you can see in both scenarios there's definitely a clear difference between the overall time it takes to transfer data over not to mention uh, the benefits of having that increased capacity to load more games onto ultimately that's probably the most important thing with any expandable storage now in summary i would definitely say that if you're looking for an m.2 solution for your ps5 uh, the fury renegade from kingston is probably one of the best choices out there not to mention that the price has come down quite a bit right now it's on sale on amazon for the four terabyte version about 355 dollars and in the holiday season that price may get even better so check out our amazon affiliate link down below and if you use our link it gives us a little bit of kickback and helps make content like this possible i definitely love to know what you guys think of the new ps5 slim do you think it's worth it compared to the standard ps5 if uh, you already own it already in most cases i would say probably not but if you're into finally upgrading your existing console might be a compelling option this holiday season love to know what you guys think what we should do with our ps5 slim should we go a little bit crazy with some cosmetic customization maybe add some cooling options etc etc we do have the playstation portable that we're messing around with and we'll have some really cool content to show off for that very very soon in the meantime i want to thank you guys so much for watching make sure you have post notifications turned on so you get our videos once they become available subscribe if you haven't already and like this content thank you again for kingston for supplying the products and giving the channel some support we'll see you guys real soon in the next one take care